Meteorologist Alex Lehnert here. A mix of some sun and some clouds, but still above average for our Wednesday afternoon after a very warm day on Tuesday. Temperatures tied a record 67 degrees set back in 1917. Record tied 2023. It was definitely a warm day yesterday. Very unseasonably warm by December standards and we stay there again today. Here are some of our other high temperatures across the state. Not only did DIA get quite warm at 67, but Lyman got to 68. Springfield got to 70. Even our mountain areas on the warmer side. Aspen topped out at 43. Leadville 46. That is more resembling what our temperatures in the Denver area should be this time of year at our highs. Satellite and radar showing the cloud cover lifting in, but some pockets of clearing certainly not out of the question this afternoon. We'll see some peeps of sunshine, a little bit of blue out there, but certainly expecting more clouds through the morning and mid-afternoon hours uh, as we keep quiet in the weather world. Maybe a few isolated flakes into the mountains today with the cloud cover, but the bulk of the activity for us that we're tracking will happen late this week. This is the next big thing. Big storm system off the coast of the Pacific that's bringing a lot of rain to coastal California, even into parts of Oregon that's continuing to track off towards the south. This is still a ways out, not only in timing, but also in actual distance. So how it all shapes up is still a little up in the air. We're keeping our eye on that. But as of now, watching this big ridge of high pressure that we've been under the influence of slide off towards the east as this low tracks inland off the coast of the southwest, pulling in some moisture from it from the, uh, the southern coast of the Pacific. That moisture will come a little bit warmer as far as temperatures go. So it'll start in the form of some rain for us on Saturday afternoon, some snow into the high country. Simultaneously, another low moving in off the northwest will track in. If the two come together, how they work together, that's still a little bit up in the air as of right now and could impact just exactly how this storm system looks. But right now, showing that we'll see some snow through the day on Sunday. This takes you to Sunday evening at 5 p.m., which is Christmas Eve. Could linger into Monday, bringing us a few flakes where we could see at least some accumulating snow on the ground by Monday, if not still some snow falling. So our attention will stay certainly on that as it does get closer, not only for the potential for a white Christmas, but a lot of folks are traveling this week. So we want to know what we're up against in the weather world. High temperatures out the door today, getting into the upper 50s, low 60s into the plains. Should be a pretty nice day today with the mountains topping very similar to where they did yesterday into the 40s. Looking ahead and you'll notice the warmer than average trend really does continue through Friday. And believe it or not, Thursday is winter. It begins the winter solstice at 827. So for the first day of winter, 59. For the first full official day of winter, 56. Not feeling anything like it. Starting to feel a little more like December come Saturday, but much more like winter by Sunday. Saturday, High temperatures in the upper 40s mean that rain snow mix overnight. We should watch that transition into more snow with snow possible on Sunday for your Christmas Eve and for that Broncos game. Seeing if that snow still falls for us on Monday is up in the air, but it looks like right now we should see a few flakes on Christmas morning with snow on the ground by Christmas Day.